A pleasant good morning and welcome to Coach's Corner. Live from the McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop, I'm Jordan Mayer. Once again sitting in for Timmy T as he has other duties taking care of this morning. And we have got a kind of a raucous crowd here this morning for the Molly yeah, DeTillo yeah, run. Yeah. yeah, let's hear it. There you go. All the, we have a lot of kids in here this morning because, of course, we are a week away from the great event, the Molly Detello 5K Run Walk. And, of course, we've got Paul Kelly is always joining us. Good morning, Mr. Kelly. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? It's a good day. and It's, it's, it's a perfect day to run, and it's just the way it's going to be next Saturday. It, it is. And, you know, the Molly Detello 5K Run Walk, um, talk about its history and talk about Molly a little bit because there are probably a lot of these kids that probably don't know who Molly is. Well, Molly was a great runner. And um, she went to, uh, in fact, she grew up <clears throat> just like all these kids that are here today to uh, represent their running club. Uh, she ran in a race very similar to this Molly race. We named it after her. And it started in 1982 at the, um, uh, the Tim Hoffman organized it, Madison State Hospital there, and they did it on the grounds there. And it was for Special Olympics. And the, uh, uh, runners came from eight counties. Oh, wow. It was a big race, and, but they only had a mile, and uh, they had a mile race for boys and girls, and then they had a, a 5K. And so that race, uh, in the end, just about the time Molly uh, disappeared in 2004, and then um, 2005, they had their first Molly Dottillo uh, race, and it was to, uh, for funds to help... Um, search you know uh, detectives and that's that's what the money's the money went for and then the uh, race that i was telling you molly ran in as a child um that race was kind of going to be closed down and so we revived it and we made it the molly to tillow run and we still have the same format except we've added half mile run for boys and girls always have the mile run and then now we have a bike uh, with uh, the Madison uh, uh, Jefferson County Bike Club, and then um, and so it's 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 turned out to be a real community event. Uh, many we have over 35 sponsors that sp help sponsor the race. We have anywhere from 600 to a thousand runners, um, and there's twice that number in the audience between uh, parents and grandparents it's it's a happening it's a happening it's madison that's it's a unified effort too between shaw and madison high school as far as their uh, members from the uh, track coaches and um, super, uh, athletic directors and from both schools are involved in the planning committee um, Celestra Hoffman Dewey is, um, did I say that wrong? No, so it's now, well, and now it's Celestra um, Dottillo, who's Molly's sister. Um, it's Celestra Dottillo Dewey. Mm -hmm. And um, so she's on our planning group and she's the connection with the family. And we just feel it's a great thing honoring Molly. She was a great runner, great person, great singer, a uh, little drama person in her. and. Um, one thing that most people don't know about the race, the day of the race, when we have the Molly Dottillo, uh, when we have the national anthem, it's actually a recording of Molly Dottillo singing. I don't, so now the airways have heard that, yeah. So it's a great race, gl glad to be a part of it. Every, and the heart of the race is every school in the county has a running club. And for the last six weeks, they've been training for this race. And so that's why, uh, the real core, uh, we'll have over 450 elementary runners, and then we'll have probably 250 is, is a pro, uh, to maybe 300 of uh, walkers and runners in the 5K, walk and run. Well, and, y you know, you mentioned it there. So many schools get involved because it becomes more than just a race to just, you know, obviously remember an amazing woman, but also to get all these kids out there. And we have seen, Paul, these crowds in the years you and I have both seen it. They grow and grow and grow. And we have so many kids from all these schools getting involved in running, something that isn't always necessarily the most popular thing. That's going to make you happy. I love it. And it's um, my children ran in this. That's why I wanted to keep it going because I, it, was, it was a good, thing for them and it's a good thing for all you right yeah yeah <laughs> let me tell you what we got a we got an awesome crowd here this morning let's get to it. well well and you 
let's talk about the schools getting involved. You know, there's a traveling trophy that goes to the school. Southwestern won both of them last year. Um, it's <laughs> a, <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's always cool to see, you know, kind of have a little bit of a competitiveness. That's right. It, it is. And, um, you know, the half mile is, um, uh, you know, for the primary age. And, um, and that, that works out great. Um, a lot of half, I mean, that, they'll be... Uh, in the boys, they'll be anywhere from 80 to 100, uh, and girls the same. You know, so that's uh, it's well attended. The half mile race is, and then the uh, and everyone gets a everyone gets a popsicle. Um, yeah, hey, come on, come on. And um, they also get uh, all participants in the half mile and the mile run, runs. Uh, they get uh, participation ribbons, and um, and plus the the half mile. I mean, the mile is a little more competitive in the way that they're try. You know, they're the the traveling trophy, and that's that's just a fun thing. Yeah, and, uh, it's uh, and also the f one thing about the race, it's in the miles. The the fifth and sixth graders are invited to come too because we didn't want to leave them out even though they're at the middle school now and um, so they're running so the uh, you know, maybe a fifth or sixth grader will be running but they're not vying for the trophy right you know, it's, it's the fourth fifth and sixth grade fourth third second graders that are vying for the trophy well and it's awesome to see the race itself again it's next Saturday what time does everything start next Saturday um, bike starts at 745 and they do it's a rally it's not a race and uh, they do their 20 mile ride they get started and then eight o'clock the 5k run and then uh, just after a little maybe five minutes the 5k walk will start and then um, about 9 15 is the first start time for um, uh, yeah, 915 is the, f is the first half mile race mm -hmm. and then it goes on till about 10 o'clock. The last one's uh, usually the mile, um, the last mile run is at 10 o'clock. So it's all, it all starts uh, at 745 and ends at um, uh, about 1030. Mm -hmm. And as far as sign up, we have a good sign up. We have about uh, over 400 people signed up. We'll, we'll sign up another three or 400 uh, between the uh, now and then and um, so uh, that it's uh, most people have signed up but there's a lot more you have you can still send it in and then next uh, Friday at Ivy Tech's um, college campus here in Madison in the lobby we'll have a sign you can pick up your packets um, and you can also sign up at that point uh, and then day of the race we open the um, sign up time around six o'clock and um, and so elementary runners can sign up all the way till about uh, um, I don't know uh, close to nine o'clock they can still sign up sure um, so uh, it's never too late it's never too late <laughs> so here comes the fun part of the show we're gonna be chatting with runners from the Molly Dutello 5k run walk of course I don't believe these two are probably gonna be doing the 5k part but let's go ahead and talk to some of them good morning young lady what's your name River hi River, River. how are you? what's your name young lady my name is Scout Scout okay so how long have you both been running um, I years. I've been two years. I ran last year in the Molly Detail race, and she, she did too. What, what did y'all think of your experience last year? I thought it was a pretty cool experience, and I'm going to do it again next this year because it was really fun to go and run with other kids and do the Molly Dottillo race. It made you better, didn't it? Just running with all those folks. What about you? I love running, and it's fun running with all of my friends. If I see them, hopefully I do. Who won between you two? Ooh. <laughs> what, what, what event did you run last year? Did you run that? Um, I ran a half. Okay, and what, what did you run? I ran the half mile, too. So you're, are you up to the mile this year? Yes, um, yes, I'm up to the mile. Are right. you running the mile? Nope. You run the half mile. <laughs> so, cool, cool. My mom and dad told me to. Yeah. Well, listen to your mom and dad. It's never too late. You can still switch. Okay. <laughs> so, what grade are you both in? I'm in third grade, kindergarten. So why? So why did you? Why are you both? 
what was it about running that made you both get interested? Why do you enjoy running so much? I just enjoy running because you get to go out there with nature and you get to hear sounds that you don't really get to see here. How cool! <laughs> Me too! What about you, young lady? I like to run because I can run with Scout sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little, sister, little sisterhood. <laughs> Uh, now, when you, you both, obviously, you're young, you got a lot of years ahead of you. Is this something you're going to keep doing, or are you going to keep running as time goes on? Yeah, I'm planning on to keep running. Yeah. Me too. There's a thing called cross country. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Track. Ooh. <laughs> you have to jump over hurdles. Doesn't that sound cool? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Well, both of you, you, go, you all go to Lydia Middleton, right? Yeah. Well, what are you, are you all going to run for your school and hopefully bring that trophy home, right? Yeah. All right. Well, River and Scout, thank you very, both very much, and best of luck to you next week, okay? All right. So, let's go ahead and meet these kids. What are your all's names? We'll start with you. Hadley. Hadley. My name's Carolyn. Speak it out. Ruthie Whitaker. Ruthie Whitaker. Trison Moore. Trison Moore. Jackson Williams. Say it again. Jackson and Williams. Okay. If I gather in here. All right. So, what events are you all going to be running next Saturday? Um, I'm running the uh, mile. What are you running? I'm running the mile. All right. I'm running the half mile. All right. Half mile. Half mile. Mile. Did you run it last year? Uh, yes. What was your time? Like, like 5.43 or something. We'll take it. That's Whoa. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, let's, you all, again, what is it about running that you enjoy so much? Um, uh, I like just running with my friends. It's a really good sport, and it gets you more active, and it's just really fun. You got you, you to go outside and be active. Yeah. What, about, what about you all? What do you like about it? Who wants to speak? You want to speak? I like, um, I like running with my friends and just getting to be active. Yeah. What about popsicles? Yeah. Yeah. That was good. That's, yeah, popsicles. <laughs> That's the key to success. <laughs> popsicles. Uh, and Kroger donates uh, popsicles for the race. That's where they come from. And um, there'll be over 600 popsicles waiting for you. Let's, t let's talk to the two gentlemen in the back. What do you gentlemen in the back. What do you all enjoy about running? Um, I like the exercise, but just not the part where you lose your breath. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the unfortunate part. Sometimes my most favorite thing about running is finishing. <laughs> I like to get to see all the places. Places, yeah. So is cross country something in your future? Do you want to do that when, maybe when you get older and get to run through the woods? Really okay, I get a nod of approval there. What about you? What about you? What about you all? Is running something you want to keep going doing when you get older? Yeah, I really want to do it when I get older. So it's it's just fun. So I hope my friends do it too. What do you say to your friends to uh, encourage them to run with you? Um, we I chant their names a lot. <laughs> Okay. And it's fun. When we run inside, when we do sprints and stuff, it's really fun to chant each other's names. You do sprints. So you run a little distance, and then you do sprints after that? Yeah. 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 Do you like sprinting? Yes. Get on the market, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> run, run, run. Do you like sprinting? Uh, yeah. Do you all, do, who wins? Normally fourth grade, because it's third <laughs> versus yeah. fourth. Those older <laughs> kids, those mature fourth graders say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you, now, when you all run next week, obviously you're going to have a lot of kids out there running. It's going to be a lot of fun running with everyone, right? Yeah. What are you, what are you most looking forward to about next Saturday? Popsicles after the race. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I tell you, in the race, there's so many kids that start off, right? There's a big crowd. I always tell uh, the student runners, Run sturdy at the start so you don't trip and fall. And then you sprint and then right you, at the then, end. Yeah. Once you see the finish line, then <laughs> you go. So you want to set a good pace, you know, as, as once you get to the start, because it, it's a lot of people. We need a wider Vaughn drive. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's a pro right here. She already knows all the running techniques yeah, and everything. Strategy. Well, it's that Whitaker. Yeah, it's a competitive family. I know <laughs> your family. <laughs> all right. So, for, so for you all, what are you all looking forward to next week? Um, I'm looking forward to get eighth place this time because I got ninth last year. Ooh, okay, striving. 
Yeah. Excellent. What about number one? <laughs> you know what? I was the first one to finish for E.L. Muncy. Awesome. Oh, That's okay. cool. Leader of the pack. Okay. All right. Well, for you all, I'm going to look forward to watching you all next Saturday. Best of luck to you, okay? Everybody Let's hear it for them. The Let's largest go. running club group in the county. How many is in your group? Um, That's a hard, t hard question. 32. 32? <laughs> no, 52. I don't know. 52? 52. <laughs> you're about 52 signed up, but you had like almost a 200 in the running club, right? Yeah. Weren't there a lot of kiddos there? That's what I heard. The rumor's out. <laughs> What's your name? Michaela. Michaela. What's your name? Savannah. Savannah. What's your name? Andrew. Last name? Newsbaum. Oh. Newsbaum. Newsbaum. This is the Newsbaum <laughs> Trio. Oh. I forgot. That, yeah. Yeah, no wonder they all love running so much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Does your dad, ca dad and mom kind of push you to run a little bit? Say yeah, no. I Say just no. I want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it feels good. <laughs> it does feel good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now, how long? How old are all of you? Yeah. Um, nine. 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 Twins? Triplets. Triplets! What am I thinking? You said nine, too. <laughs> I okay. I can juggle. Did you all know I can juggle? No. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen perfect. it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, how, how long have you all been running? Uh, a long we've been time. We've running since we like, three, but we've been running the Molly to Tello since we were in first grade. In first grade? Okay. First grade? First grade, way to go, way to go. Now, now, when, when you all, now, obviously, you do you all like to enjoy running with your parents because they're both runners. Yeah. So, do you all run yeah. with them? Yeah, well, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask the mom a question. Did you have a Did you have a a, a running stroller for three? I did not have one for three, but we did have a single, and they would have to take turns. Uh huh. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah. You know, you know, Miss, Mrs. Newsbaum, when you look at all three of them run, it's got to make you feel great that they're following in your and your husband's footsteps. It is fun when your children love the sport that you love and they truly enjoy it. I think I get teary-eyed every year at the Molly Dottillo. It's just such a fun race to watch and just to see them really, all of um, the runners, to try their best and just put full effort in. And the crowd roots for you. Do you feel that? Do you feel the crowd rooting? Isn't that yeah. cool? And yeah. there's this weird clown dude that always yeah. shows <laughs> yeah. Okay, now that's not me. That's, uh, but he, he's doing to make me happy. Well, <laughs> yeah. he scared some kids last year. Well, we'll talk to that guy. <laughs> Bert, did you hear that? Bert, come, come, and, come and do it. <laughs> Hope you're listening, Bert. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll, t we'll talk to him about that. I, I'm, go ahead. Now, which, ev which event specifically are you all running next week? Um, um, the mile. The mile. The mile. What did, you, did your parents say it's time for you to run the mile? No, I decided. I, I, decided. <laughs> I, decided. I did too. Yeah. I, I, I was the only first grader running the mile. Way to go. Way to step up. You never know. She's showing everybody Last up. Last year, yeah. I ran the half mile. The half mile. Yeah. Well, you know, that's kind of, you know, you got to get rolling, got to get rolling. And uh, my granddaughter was the same way. You know, she didn't run one run, did not want to run the mile until everybody pushed her into it and said, you got to run it. Yeah, because she was doing well. Well, what a what a family. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. thing, uh, go ahead. Now, you all won the trophy last year. You all going to try to defend that this year? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm kind of, oh, I got a big yes there. They're taking it seriously. <laughs> Do you all have any individual objectives? Want to cut back on your time, try to get a certain place in the race? Um, yeah. Well, I'm trying to get into the sixes. To the sixes? sixes what about yeah. you, young man? I'm trying to get into the fives because I'm okay. trying to get in the, into the low sevens. Yeah. Wow. This, this, trying, this basically, you're just all trying to get to that finish line. Isn't that, that fun? Yeah. Get on your mark, get set, go, boom! There's a million kids running. And I'm also trying to beat my big sister. You want to beat your big sister? Yes. Yes. <laughs> are, you, are you the youngest? Of no. the, uh, who, I am. He's okay. the youngest. Yeah. When you say your big sister, who, um, who is, who's our that? Addie. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's not here. She's what not grade here. is she in? The fifth. Fifth grade. Mm. What would it be like if you beat her? It would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give her a high five. Does she, does she talk trash? Does your, your big sister talk trash? She's she awesome. acts like she's the boss. The boss? <laughs> well, you know, she's the first child. Is she the first child? <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine the first child and then three? You know, she's like, she's like to her parents, what did you do? You brought three kids into the world. Now I've got all these three these little smarties, brothers and sisters. 
<laughs> okay, never mind. Keep going. <laughs> we, don't, we have a sidetrack. Uh, so for you all, when you know you all have so many people participate, what do you all say to kids that maybe don't want to? Maybe they're scared to run because it is a lot of work. What do you say to them? Um, like we encourage them to and say do like the best. We say like you got this and if stuff. I go by them. I just I say keep on running, mm -hmm. and then I clap. And, also, and, and, and remind race. them that there's a popsicle at the end of the race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, no, that's not bad. <laughs> All right. Well, the three of you have an amazing family. Obviously, your parents speak for themselves. So thank you all so much, and best of luck next Saturday, okay? Thank, thank you. Go Southwestern. My goodness gracious, what an amazing group of kids there, Mr. Kelly. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. That's the coolest thing. She was talking about tearing up. There's a lot of people that, you know, just when... The, you, know, you know who gets the loudest applause? Mm. The 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 runners that are coming in, you know, bringing up the end. Yes. I mean, people are rooting for them as just as much as they are for the others. It's it's it's, it's just a neat scene. I love I love it. You know, again, Mr. Kelly, you see the energy amongst all those kids and just how much fun they have, and I, we get to watch them all run, and that's the future of running in this area right there that we just saw. Yeah, I mean that's that is a definitely a a point that, and that's why the coaches, you know, that's why uh, Scott Holtz, Holtz, Holcroft, 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 couldn't think of his last name. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's why he's on the board. You know, he wants to promote running, and uh, and so you know, Jim Lavelle, he coaches uh, cross country at um, uh, Shaw, so. They're all. That's the cool thing about our committee. They're pretty much all runners and uh, into it. Um, so, and, and it's good. Good having a group like this uh, because you, you make mul uh, make decisions that you know you you kind of discuss it back and forth. So I really like the design of the whole race. Um, I was disappointed when the fifth graders went up and the sixth graders went up to middle because that's, you know, that takes, but we still want them to participate. And for the fifth and sixth graders, uh, they run the mile and um, they will be uh, the top three uh, boys uh, and girls. They get um, medals, you know, mm -hmm. so we, we want to, and we have, do have quite a few. We have almost... Um, I think close to 50 fifth and sixth graders are going to be running too. That's so, so awesome. Yeah, and th that'll grow too. But um, so all in all, you know, um, Mrs. Mrs. Dottillo sends me a Christmas card and uh, every year thanking me for the race and sends me a thank you note right after the race. It's very meaningful to the family, and I'm I'm proud of that. Uh, it's it's setting a base for um, it's starting kids off at an early age to be active and you know once you run this race like all those kids are runners now you know in their minds they are runners and that's what's that's that's the ultimate you know as far as they'll keep that up most likely and um, you know it's just um, a win-win plus 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 and you look at that and again next Saturday you can still sign up and there are people that might be listening and think man those kids are having a blast they can still sign up right yes they can sign up until race time just about and um, but yeah and it's all it's very uh, uh, student friendly and in the way that um, if they sign up they can sign up for six dollars uh, the day of the race and uh, that's our twelve dollars, and twelve dollars includes the official nineteen, two thousand nineteen Molly Dottillo shirt. Um, so it, it's um, uh, and then five K runners and walkers can also sign up at either Ivy Tech. One cool thing about the Ivy Tech thing: anybody that signs up or picks up their packets gets a free slice of pizza Ooh. and a bottle, of, you know, in, in a beverage. Uh, we're having water uh, to promote <laughs> health. You know, we, we didn't want to do, you know, having a healthy run and then having a Coke something. Or something like yeah, that. that's right. Uh, sugar, sugarized drinks. So, um, and and that and, and and this is just a sign of our community. So many people, um, you know, asking getting sponsors is the is. is a pretty easy deal because ev just about everybody says yes and um, so when we decided we used to have that uh, Bellows Pizza when they were up on the hill we used to have the sign up the day before there and and he had a deal for him with pizza and all that um, and he's the one that started the free piece of a slice of pizza um, 
and uh, but then we had to move it when they uh, moved out of the uptown uh, bellows now they're downtown um, but uh, we we had a gap there so we had to find another place so we did it at Ivy Tech and we wanted to keep the pizza thing going so every pizza place in Madison is donating pizza for that day so we'll have so I mean that's it's a unified approach you know we're talking uh, bellows we're talking uh, red pepperoni we're talking Pizza Hut and Papa John's and Jindy's and Domino's if there's another one out there let me know what gets you included for next year. Well, well, and, and Mr. Kelly, it's going to make you so, you know, and I say this to so many interviews I have, but in Madison, and it's amazing how this community will all come together and support a great event. They always do. They always support their local events. Yes. And, um, you know, I went to the very first Molly Dottillo race, and it was like a, a religious event. And um, just because, you know, I was mournful for her loss and disappearance. Um, but... And so there's a little something still in the air with that. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, it's just, um, it's still on a lot of people's minds. And, and it's, again, it's a way to honor her. Um, the the Tillos, it's almost like a, a family reunion. You know, they a lot of them come into town for the race. Um, it's just a great race. Anything else you want to say before we wrap things up here? Come on down, it'll rain or shine, it's going to happen, and it'll be it'll be shine. It'll be a nice day. Be try to have everybody, um, you know, included in any way you can. We have over 90 volunteers that we have to. We still need 10 more. Please call 701-3297. <laughs> okay. And um, but yeah, it, it's it's clicking. It's a lot of support. It's a successful event, and it'll hope, hopefully it lasts forever. Well, Mr. Kelly, thank you very much, and I will see you next Saturday. Jolly good. All right, thank you very much to Paul Kelly and all the great running club kids who came in and support and uh, joined us here this morning. One of the probably my more favorite shows I've ever done. Thanks to Tyson Torrance back in studio for getting us on the air. We'll get one more commercial in and send it back to the best Friday music on Works 96. 6-7-W-R-X. Goodbye.